Welcome, people of the Imperium, to another Warhammer video here. So, I want to take a little break from my Tyranid Force, because I have a lot of them, and I have a lot of magnetization to do. So, I decided to start working on my primaries and inters intercessors. I don't know exactly how you say it, but yeah, they're basically the new space, ultramarines, space marines, ultramarines. That Games Workshop put out just so then they can say, look, we got new space marines, and then yeah. Luckily for me, I'm just getting into the hobby at this point. As you can see, this is the data sheet right here for them. And I do have a very old Space Marine. An old model, like a 2005-ish model, so almost a 10-year old model. To compare to these giants. Yeah, this guy doesn't even have a head on yet. And as you can see, this is actually the ones that we're going to be doing here. I've done up six of them. That's that, That's that before it falls. Let's see here. Just gone up to this step on each one for all six of them. Only two have this. Basically, at two of each stance. So, yeah. And, before I forget one quick note about this guy, he lost an arm at one point. So, I had to actually super glue it on, which I do not see my super glue here. Oh, it's way over there. Yeah, it's too far away. But now, both these arms are absolutely rock solid. Like they're not going anywhere. Ooh, I feel something loosening, but I'm not going to... Actually, it was this arm right here. This is the arm that fell off. Barely tell. But, yeah. Looks great. Works great. It's great. Moving on. So, you will need the, the kit for them. We'll need the stands for the Four more, you get ten in a box, which is pretty good. Considering you get two runners, but when you snap them up, it comes out as four runners in total. But you get your bolters, your all those auto bolters, all those kind of weapons, all that kind of stuff. 
get purity seals, you get shoulders, you get a lot of heads. Like a lot of heads. Like I a creepy amount of heads. Like Yeah, there's heads along here, heads all along here, and two more over here. <coughs> Times that by two. And it's a creepy amount of heads. There's just even one on this one right here. Right beside the purity seal. Funnily enough. But I do have to say, they did a good job in hiding a lot of the the mold lines, which is really nice. But it still takes a little bit to get 10 figures done. So I'm going to put all this aside. Right now I'm just going to move you guys a little bit over and a little bit up. Just so then I can see what you guys are seeing a little bit better. So yes, I have already dry fit them, but I want to dry fit them again before I bring over my glue. So that's going to be, this is the main torso here. This is the part where everything connects onto. So the chest fits well. So all I'm going to do, I'm not actually going to rough it up or anything, is I'm just going to take a bit of glue all along here. Let me grab my little brush out and... Brush those little pieces away. So what I'm going to do is put glue all along that piece there. On just that one side. And as usual, I'm using the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Now I usually am pretty generous about my glue. And I'll just hold it here for a couple seconds. Okay, that is glued on. I'm going to put that aside for a moment here. And I am going to wrap up this section right in here and that correlates to this piece
peg right here. But as you can see, it snaps in pretty nicely, I have to say. Now that's almost a piece I wouldn't bother gluing. But it's always to be better to be safe than sorry. I'm just putting a little bit of glue. There we go. Then I'm going to do just like the dry fit. I'm just going to stick it on. There we go. There's one. Let's see, this is why you don't glue everything first. There it is, it snuck way away. Now, because I know this piece will fit, and it does. There we go, marking that up a little bit. Just marking it up just a little bit. All that it does is adds more surface area for the glue. Which means more chances for it to stick. On to where you want it to. There we go. Step glue goes. There we go. So I'll start out with this leg. There's just a little peg that once it sits in, it's in. <clears throat> like it doesn't want to move much. Which is this peg right here. Right there. So all I'm going to do And don't worry too much if you accidentally go, whoops. Cause that's what your primer's really for, is to fill in little gaps. And just be a little bit careful not to put too much glue onto the leg. And it's stuck on. This one has a little peg and hole.
There we go. That's how they'll go. So let's just mark this up quickly here. And you're pretty well doing this for all of them. So at this point you guys kind of get the idea of what I do. That was a little bit much. I'm just going to leave, leave that one side glued for this sun. There we go. Now I'm going to wait a little bit here and I'll go get the rest of them. Actually. Well, let's put a back backpack on them. Now for the backpacks, mark up this bottom section and a little bit on the sides. And then mark up the bottom and sides of this peg here. Don't worry about that top part. It doesn't make contact. So why waste your time? And again, they don't need much. And you also got to remember that Games Workshop is has very soft plastic compared to like Gundams or something like that. Gundams have a very hard plastic. A very hard pre-colored plastic. And we're just going to wait a little bit here while the plastic melts and there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that step. Well, okay, we can base him. He's probably dry enough at this point. All that I do is just mark up the feet just a little bit on the bottom because that's all that really touches There we go. He's on his base. They are literally just that simple. So I'll do the rest of them. And then I will bring you guys back when I am going to be building the first one, which is the sergeant. So I'll be back in a little bit. So we are back. Now in between the last clip and this clip, I've it's actually been a couple days. Doing a lot of life stuff. We will be doing the captain or the sergeant, I should say. 
of these guys and then I will go ahead and do all the other little marines almost the exact same right same way but I made a stop to the Warhammer store and I've got a whole bunch of paints like this one I got the Agriland Earth which is a little bit different also, I should also show you guys, I've done a lot of shopping. I've gotten a couple extras of them, of different paints that I use a lot. Sigmarite, I have Troll Slayer Orange, you should start noticing something soon here. Kiss Left Flash, Mechanica Standard Grey. Uh, Bugman's Glow, Bad and Black, Yarl Yellow. Now, there is a, a little bit of a theme with these three, plus Corn Red. I kind of broke down and got somebody here to lead these ultra all ultramarines into battle, I should say. It's going to be really hard to see. I got the Primark. I got Rupu. Rebute Gilram Gilliman However you say his name He's actually quite a large model really Obviously, I didn't stick this base in again. Where is it? Oh. Found it. Where is it in the most awkward spot ever? Okay. So that's his base there, which is about four, three ish, a little bit more than three ish times the size of a normal one. But let's just take a quick second here and look at all the detail. In the armor and in everything. Let me flip it over so you guys can see the faces here. But that is a lot of detail work. So I kind of got an extra small artificer brush. Layer brush. Which... Some people are speculating that it's made by Windsor Newton. I do not know yet. I have not tried it. And I have not tried a Windsor Newton before. So, yeah. I got a whole bunch of Q-tips for about 4 bucks. For 450 of them or something like that. And then, don't be afraid to go into, like, shop, stores like Bass Pro Shop. They have BBs there. 
or about seven bucks for uh, fifteen hundred of them. So you're not overly concerned if you drop one or two of them. But what they're great for is I have this oh control slider orange or wild rider red is I know that this paint is open and then simply just to There we go, you can just see it there. These ones it's really hard to hear. Here, let me grab one of my glass glass ones. I've done this to all my paints. Uh, come on. You can barely hear it rattling around in there. I've done that to all my paints. It's just add one or two of these guys in. which I will be doing once I open up a paint I will be putting one in from now on oh there's Troll Slayer Orange and I also got a codex as well for the Ultramarines so yeah We're kind of set for a l quite a while here. As I know some kits will take a, a lot longer than other kits will, for sure. But let's get on to the sergeant here. So I have decided that this sergeant is going to be pointing off that way So you have his pointing arm. Like he's yelling out go 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 or something like that. Or wart wart wart. This, this is auto bolt rifle. Yes. So I did decide to go for the auto bolt rifle. Well, let's just make it an auto bolt rifle right now. And I did use my god hand nippers for these parts here. This part especially because it bent a little bit when I was putting when I was cutting it out and stuff so be careful I 
Just doing all those same techniques that we did earlier by roughing it up, putting a dab of glue. Oh, don't put glue on your. Try not to put glue on yourself too much. There we go, and I've even drilled out the gun barrel, of course. So there we go, now that's an auto bolter. These are the options that I would like to try and put on them. I do not know for sure how well they will go on. There's his base. So he'll kind of be looking in this direction here with his pointing arm here, gun arm up, gun arm up here. He'll be about to say like go 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 or something like that. So. That's what I foresee for our sergeant here. Now I will mention right now that I do not know if I'll be attaching the arms onto the other marines quite yet. Because I do not know with how they will do with painting in this area. So I do want to paint that. I have all the paints for it, so. I would like to paint it. But let me just get the arms and I'm not going very hard on this I'm just basically dragging the blade across I'm not putting much pressure on it at all And again, I'm just going to do the exact same thing over here. Just increasing that surface area a little bit more. Okay. This is commitment time. This is the commitment time. Okay, so we're going to put glue onto this arm right here. We're going to put it onto this section right here.
that looks very natural. That looks more natural. Now because I do not want the arms to be bumped or anything by accident, I'm going to do a quick cut here and I'll be back in a couple minutes when the glue's a little bit more dry. Okay. So with the arms solid here Let me just check do we put on the head first yes we do put on the head first make sure not to be cutting the top of the head That is halfway to an ultramarine, <laughs> or a primaris marine, I should say. And now we're going to cut up the inside a little bit. Now this Just 
just because I cannot seem to get a grip on it today. The shoulder will just go on just like that there. Now this is one of those times where I'm going to be fairly liberal with my glue. As this is a shoulder piece on an Adeptus Astartes. That's that's looking good. This one feels good right in around the oh, this is where I want you to thank you. Right in around here ish. We just play around with it a little bit more here. No, that's too high up. Here, I need to take a look at it. I think I found a point. It's going to go on somewhere around No, I don't know how this one wants to go on. One second here. I'm going to quickly look at the website here and see if I can figure it out. Okay, I found an image of how they have it. So they have it with the shoulder about here.
So this is how they have him. Or a figure like him. <laughs> so now I'm going to add a parity seal right in this kind of area here I'm thinking So I've got the purity seal. On my metal tweezers that I just There we go, the purity seal is on finally. I'll let my hands dry a little bit. And I can tell you right now, this is not going to be going on that guy. This is... Not that. Not on this guy. I think the last thing I'm going to put on him is actually this guy right here. I think that's about, I don't want him to get overbearing. Let me just hold this with tweezers. Let 
that's about where it's supposed to go, so... And actually, that is the sergeant completed right now. So I will do up the rest of these marines. All nine of them. And when you see them next... They will all be primed. And we will start the long task of painting. So, if you are new to the this Imperium, and you've liked what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Just as a little quick size comparison. One of my first ones, him. Just a little size difference. So, again, if you are new to the Imperium, hit that subscribe button if you liked what you've seen. And if you are one of the veterans of the Long War, or one of the long crusades, I should say. And if you liked what you've seen, hit that like button. Let's me know to continue on with what I'm doing. And until next time, remember to rock on.